Okay, so we've looked at all the different skills independently. Now it's time to actually start tying them together. So this is what I would define as a whole problem. It's the sort of thing that you're going to get in your assessment. And it's going to include all the elements. So you've got to form the equations, you've got to draw the graph, you've got to do the shading, you've got to find the vertices, you've got to find the maximum stroke minimum, whatever it is that you're asked to find and possibly even examining points. So, here you go, we've got an art shop. I'm gonna use the highlighter to start with to highlight bits about a constraint. So we've got small prints cost $20, and I've got large prints that cost $25. And I know I've got $400 to spend. So that's my first constraint. So my first constraint is, so as I remember where my cursor's got to, it's going to be 20 lots of small. That's what I'm doing my head in, I have my tablet the wrong way around. So 20 lots of small plus 25 lots of large. And that's got to be less than or equal to 400 because they've only got $400 to spend. Next one is it takes two hours to frame a small, it takes five hours to frame a large, and there are 60 hours in total. So that's constraint number two. So it's two hours for a small plus five hours for a large, and that's got to be less than or equal to 60. Now, it's not written, but I would guess that small has to be bigger than or equal to zero, and large has to be bigger than or equal to zero, because I can't have a negative amount of values. So those are all my constraints. Over here, I'm going to write down my objective function, and that is that the shop will make $15 per small plus $35 per large print. So in two and a half minutes, we've managed to write down the constraints. Now I'm going to highlight each bit and put the marker beside each constraint or each rule so that you can see where they have come from. Okay, and work it out from there. So that's the first bit of the problem. In the next video, we'll draw the graph and we'll find the vertices. Okay, so that's Solving a Whole Problem Part 1. I feel like I'm in the Twilight series or Harry Potter or something.